everyone, it's Michelle Caruana from Play Cafe Academy and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and walk through our cafe counter because you guys have been requesting it. But before I get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel because I put out a new video every single week and I also take suggestions. So if you have a suggestion for a new video or if there's something you want to see or learn about, feel free to comment it in the comments of the video and I will go ahead and create that content for you guys. So I'm going to get started with our menu and we have our menu in chalk marker just because we like that it's temporary, we like that we can change the prices or our offerings if we need to. So if you guys are just getting started, I would definitely consider a temporary option at least until you figure out your menu and your pricing because things might need to adjust as you go about your first couple months. But we actually like the chalk marker. We have a lot of chalk marker throughout the facility so it just fits with our vibe. And then we have our seasonal flavors. We also have our seasonal flavors right when you walk in. Um, again, that's temporary. I print them every single season because they do change. So sometimes we have summer flavors, fall flavors, winter flavors, um, but they do change, so it's nice to have that option. And then I have some of, um, it doesn't usually look like this, but I did want to bring out some of our different tools that we have. So we have our bun coffee maker, and we threw them directly into these carafes. We have about six of them. We usually have about four out at a time during our busy season to during our slower season. And then we, we actually pre-grind our espresso. So we get an order every single week from Finger Lakes Coffee Roasters. So this is our cafe counter and I got a bunch of our materials out to show you guys. It doesn't usually look this cluttered, but I just wanted to give you guys some examples of things that we use every single day in our cafe business. So first we have our bun coffee maker, which we actually rent from the people that supply us our coffee. Um, we use these carafes, we actually brew directly into them. It saves a lot of waste and it keeps the coffee nice and piping hot for hours. So we have about six of them. We usually put four out during our busy season and two out during our slow season. Um, we generally don't brew decaf in the morning. We brew it on demand, so if somebody asks for it, and the benefit of a facility like this, as opposed to like a Starbucks, is that people are gonna be here for a few hours. So it's not like they're in a rush to get to work or anything. So if we need to brew decaf when somebody asks, I just say, you know, it's just gonna be five minutes for that coffee, and we never get any complaints about it. In fact, they usually appreciate that it's nice and fresh. We have our paper products right here. Um, we do paper cups because the mugs spill and we allow people to bring the mugs into the, or excuse me, the cups into the play area. So the mugs, even though we started with them, they just didn't really work for our particular business. So for our espresso machine, we have a bunch of little miscellaneous tools that we use to operate it. So first we have a knock box, which when we're done with the espresso shot, we literally knock the espresso grounds into it so that they don't clog up the machine. Um, this is for the espresso shot, so we actually take the espresso from these airtight containers, we scoop it in here, and then we take this, we press it down, and then this goes right in here. The espresso actually pours into this shot glass, and then we always make sure after um, we make every single drink to wipe the steam wand down because dried milk can get on it, so we always have um, a full drawer of folded rags so that we're able to always use a clean one. So this is, a, this is for a two shot drink. All of our drinks are 12 ounce or 16 ounce, so we use two shots for all of them. But if somebody wants just one shot or if somebody wants to add an extra shot, we do have this with just one shot. So as you can see, it's a little bit more shallow, so it fits half the amount of espresso in there. And then we have a little mini shot glass for just one shot. We also have cleaner for the espresso machine. So we actually pour this into here, the same thing that we use for the espresso shots, and then we backwash it into the machine so that it gets in all of the inner workings and everything is nice and clean. And we actually order this from the same place that we order our coffee from. And then we have these carafes for half and half and anything like that. And I would definitely check with your local health department before you invest in anything like that because different states and different counties have different rules and regulations about what temperature your milk needs to be and all of that good stuff. Then we also have, this is where we put hot water in every single morning and we keep our stir stick and our thermometer in there. You're gonna need both of those things to obviously stir the flavor into the drink and make sure that you're steaming the milk to the correct temperature. Now, when we're training somebody, we have both a visual representation of all of the different drinks that we do. 
So we have exactly how much milk and how much foam needs to be in a latte, a cappuccino, how much water needs to be in an Americano and things like that. And I think having this visual representation is really helpful when people are just getting started. And then we also have our drink menu with the exact instructions for all of our different drinks. And even people that have been here for quite a while will still reference this just because some of the drinks, like a Cafe Breve, for example, we sell very infrequently. So it's nice to just be reminded what's included, how much foam there should be, what the ingredients are, what the steps are, and things like that. So it's nice to have both the visual and the written representation right here, because if we were to have it in a binder or something like that, that just creates an extra step and it messes up the whole workflow. So it's nice to just have it right here and they are both laminated. All of our tea is organized right here. So it's nice, people um, are able to just look at the different offerings that we have and let us know what tea they prefer. And then we just pull it out from here. And then this is where we keep all of the extra paper products and everything is labeled because again, we wanna make sure that when an employee is looking for something, they can find everything very quickly and efficiently. We have extra coffee here. And then these are all of our different sugars, um, miscellaneous supplies, our chai tea um, and Rubbermaid containers, things like that. And one more thing I just wanted to mention, I love everything about our setup. I think it's very efficient. I love that everything moves from left to right, which is the way that we naturally move when we're making a drink. One thing that I would change though is we do not have an under counter fridge. So if you do have the opportunity to put in an under counter fridge, it's going to make your drink making process a lot more efficient. So we actually have to walk all the way back here to our fridge when we're making a drink. So we have to go get the specific milk, we have to get the specific milk pitcher, we have to fill it up, we have to bring everything out here typically, and then we have to walk all the way back to the fridge and put it away when we're done. But if we had an under counter fridge, it would make it a lot easier to just grab what we needed um, and then go along with the drink making process. But right now it's Definitely not as efficient as it could be. We just didn't have the opportunity during our build out. It wouldn't, we couldn't find an under counter fridge that fit. But if you are planning on being a higher volume cafe, I would definitely recommend having an under counter fridge. It would make things a lot easier. But other than that, I love our setup. I think it works really well for our needs. The only thing, one other thing that I would just think about, I wouldn't necessarily change it, but when somebody is making a drink, their back is to the, the check-in counter. So if somebody comes in, our back is to them, and I usually just peek my head around and say, you know, I'll be with you in just one minute, or whoever's working. But since we have one person working, I would just maybe, I would just consider that, and maybe I would put it to the side if I could do it again. But again, it's not really that big of a deal, but I would just consider that if you are in the space planning stages of your cafe. But if you guys have any questions about our cafe setup or our equipment or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. I would love to do another one of these videos. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week.